video limits number 10 <clears throat> given that limit of radical x plus 4 as x approaches 5 equal to 3 find the value of of delta that is guaranteed by the by the definition of the limit to exist and that corresponds to epsilon equal 1 here he wants me to use epsilon equal 1 for sure epsilon is a very small number but here he wants me to correspond the limit to this epsilon we have to find delta using limit all right using limits we all know how to start the absolute value of the function minus l right this is l over here is less than this epsilon so it's less than one we need to find x minus five the absolute value of x minus five is less than that delta we need to find this implies that this implies that minus one less than right uh we, we 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 take out the absolute value so we have to change it to <coughs> uh, minus one less than absolute radical x plus four minus three less than one right uh, we add three to all sides so we get rid of the minus three over here this implies minus one plus three less than radical x plus 4 minus 3 plus 3 is 0 less than 1 plus 3 this means that 2 less than radical x plus 4 less than 4 now we have to get rid of the radical we square all of those or uh, we square all of the sides for sure without changing the inequality because all are positive uh, 2 becomes 4 less than x plus 4 less than 16 and now we need to have minus 5 so i have to subtract 5 from all side uh, i have to subtract 9 from all sides so minus uh, plus 4 we have already minus 9 less than why minus 9 because x plus 4 minus 9 okay less than 16 minus 9 if we, if we don't know how how i did choose the 9 directly i did that in one step you do minus 4 first it will be only x right minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 it will be only x and then minus 5 to ensure the x that approaches 5 x minus 5 over here so it will be minus 9 uh, 4 minus 9 is minus 5 less than x minus 5 less than 7 okay we all know that we can write this also minus 5 less than x minus 5 which is less than 5 which is less than 7 why is that to ensure the minimum point we can reach the minimum point delta is the minimum point we can reach we can reach uh, uh, close to uh, uh, so x will be close to 5 right this implies that absolute value of x minus 5 is less than 5 and this is <coughs> delta which is in terms of epsilon it's 5 times epsilon right that's it let me do another uh, one Okay, this one, I think so it will take time to uh, prove it. Let, let us prove this one. And I'll keep the video 11 for this one. Uh, show that the function h given by h of x. This is so simple, very simple. Minus x if x is less than 0 and it's equal to x if x is greater or equal to 0. Right? Part A. Part A, find limit of h of x as x approaches 0. Limit as x approaches 0 minus. As x approaches 0 minus, this means x is, x approaches, x approaches 0 minus is the same, at, at the same time, we can say x approaches 0 where x is less than 0. So it's x less than 0, right? So uh, I, I have to take this h of x. So it's equal to limit. Of h of x when x approaches 0 minus this is it and we substitute 0 minus instead of x we substitute 0 the answer is going to be 0 and uh, part b <clears throat> limit of h of x as x approaches 0 plus means greater than 0 so we take this part over here then this x right its limit 
as x or uh, of x as x approaches zero plus is equal also to zero. Part C he said, does the limit h of x uh, as x approaches zero exist since we have left con uh, since uh, 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 limit of h of x as x approaches zero minus means to the left of zero is equal to the right of zero. So yes, it exists, right? Since limit of h of x as x approaches zero minus is equal to limit of h of x as x approaches zero plus. Yes, limit exists, right? And what is its value? How can we find its value? It is simply they both should be equal to h of zero. And is that true? Is that true? h of zero is h of x when x equals zero. So also we have to substitute instead of x zero of and this one over here, and it will be equal to zero. It's done. <clears throat> Let me do another one. And uh, with, yeah, we still have time. We can do one or two couple of questions. Let's start with this one. <clears throat> Given that limit, limit of uh, 3x minus 2 as x approaches 1 is equal to 1. Find the value of delta that is guaranteed by the definition of the limit to exist and it's corresponding to epsilon which is a positive, small positive value, just epsilon. Same thing, it's absolute value of f of x or of the function minus the L, which is one, is they should be less than the epsilon. So minus epsilon less than three x minus three less than epsilon, right? Uh, we don't need the, to do this. We don't need to do that, right? I directly uh, say it's a three x. This is normal because I can get the x minus one directly. What was the meaning of x approaches one? This means x minus one, well, that's what we need. So it's absolute value of three x minus a three less than epsilon. We can take the three outside. It's a positive number, factorized by three and put it directly outside. Less than epsilon, dividing by three, both sides, I get what? Uh, absolute value of x minus one less than less than epsilon over three and that simply is delta right delta that <coughs> we need okay let me see if we can do also another one yeah we can do uh, one like this one uh okay also he wants me to prove that limit of uh, 2x minus 6 when x approaches 2 equals to minus 2. Same thing, absolute value of 2x minus 6 minus of minus 2, so it's plus 2 less than epsilon. This implies absolute value of 2x minus 4 less than epsilon. Take two common factor. Outside, it's positive 2x minus 2 less than epsilon divided by two both sides so absolute value of x minus two will be less than epsilon divided by two and that is the positive delta we need to find to ensure that x will be close to two uh one more uh, exercise and one more video alone for limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero it should be equal to one where theta is in radians all right, let me uh, do this one. This one, it has, uh, we have to just uh, draw. Uh, okay, let me try to draw in a good way. Just one minute. Okay. Suppose we have this figure. I don't know if I have time. If time will help us. Okay. right so let's say this is the x uh, the y-axis and this is the x-axis okay let me see what do I have uh, this is minus one over here all right this is minus one over here and what do I have this is one this is two and uh, this is one this is two right this is minus one okay let's say this is the function and this is the function to one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have whole point here. Okay. And then from this one here, it goes something like that. 
All right? He wants me to find <coughs> part A limit. Let's say this is the graph of G of X, right? Uh, limit of G of X as X approaches 2 plus 